Uh, it took a while to kind of pull it out of, you know, but it was, it was great. I, get, I give all the secrets away in this, by the way. This is it's my latest venture. It's a right. DVD series that called The Art and Science of Sound Recording. We're going to show a little bit yeah, of that. We'll show some of this later. Yeah. We're going to show some on the uh, video screen of this amazing project he's worked on for the last few years to share his secrets of techniques in uh, sound recording. But uh, anyway, it's, not, it's not all about giving away secrets. It's, giving, it's letting other people... Say how they, it's just how you do things. And, uh, that's, uh, Did you manipulate Dave's sound? Is what I'm hearing uh, that you manipulated that sound coming out of Dave's guitar, or or was it? I think a little bit. You know, I think I think guitarists don't get enough credit for, for uh, you know if the, if the sound is good on on record, it doesn't necessarily mean it's well engineered. It could mm. be you know, well played, well amped, you know, uh, and a nice instrument. You know, uh, I, I I like to think that. Um, uh, a lot of the good guitar sounds that I that I've achieved have been, you know, have been have come from good sources. You know, if, you, if it sounds good coming in, it's going to sound good going out. Mm. I think garbage in, garbage out, as they say. I think he's uh, also talking about though there is uh, an art to that sound you just heard. I never realized it was it was Roger Waters, mm -hmm. the muted bass sound, making that. <laughs> That was a bass guitar, but yeah, and he put, played it live. Of course, he just did it live every night. You know, but I mean, it took some engineering skills to make it sound decent too. So he doesn't give himself credit here. But uh, uh, it's, it's it's when those two things come together so powerfully. You have a record like Dark Side or any of Alan's records when you have great musicians creating great sounds and a great engineer producer who knows how to capture that and and make it this incredible sonic landscape. I guess. When I think about Alan, I think about these incredible sonic landscapes that, that you create. Um, does anybody have a question for, for either of us right now at this part of the... Of the uh, I have a question about Dark Side. Is it ever going to come out on like a 5.1 type of mix? It is, and it's great. It, um, yes, J James Guthrie, who, who took over from me as their, uh, as their engineer you know, in about 74, um, did, a, did a version about four or five years ago. On SACD, so there is a 5.1 mix. Um, so there are effectively two different versions of it in, in surround. My version and James's. So um, I prefer mine myself. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions at this point? So uh, I'll just carry on. Um, Sorry. Uh, did you already work with Roger? Or um, collaborate with Roger, or did you have Captain Lunch all the time? I mean, I, I didn't. <laughs> I did not produce Dark Side of the Moon. I was I was engineer. Um, yeah. If I if I had produced it, I'd be speaking to you on a TV screen from my yacht in the Bahamas. <laughs> 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 but um, no, I, I, I earned about a pound an hour for making Dark Side of the Moon. One pound. 35 pounds a week. And, um, I mean, to answer your question, I mean, uh, engineers have a certain amount of freedom always, but, um, you know, I was, I was ex essentially under orders. I mean, I was, you know, they, the uh, album says, uh, in the credits, produced by Pink Floyd, engineered by Alan Parsons. So, so um, I, you know, I had some input, of course. You know, in the, in the clocks, for instance, were my idea. And... Um, you know, the getting getting Claire Torrey was uh, was my idea. I, they said we, we we want we want a vocal on this. Who should we get? And I said I know this amazing singer called Claire Torrey, and uh, she came in and of course ripped it up. It was great. And she later, or well, quite more, much more recently, got uh, got a writing credit, which she which she she arguably deserves. 